Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Albino Try Something a Little Different. This is Pokemon Rejuvenation. This is a fan project. I don't think it's done. Uh, it was introduced to me by one of my subscribers. And I checked it out. And I was like, oh yes. Okay, so the deal with this, the music is really good. I'd say it's probably a, its selling point for me is that it has some of the best music I've seen in a Pokemon game for sure. Um, we're gonna start a new game. This is how far I got. I played it for like four and a half hours, and as you can see, we still have zero badges. Because, uh, there's a bunch of different things going on with this game. So basically, this is a game, it's a little grittier than your average Pokemon game. It has auto-saving, which is neat. There's like 18 gyms. Hi, Cloudy. Uh, and there's, uh... It's a very, okay, so like the main theme, like selling point of the game is that every Pokemon's in it. Everything from Gen 1 to Gen 7, you can find it in this game. I've only been to like a couple areas, so I've only seen a few of the Pokemon. But like it was very spread out, you know? The same patch of grass would have like Rockruff and Pidgey and uh, Wurmple, you know, just across the board. So like in terms of variety, it's definitely got some stuff going on and I've you know with my experience playing it there are positives and there are negatives this is a story that I'm gonna skip but I'm sure it has something to do with stuff in fact I'm kind of sure of it but I'm still just gonna like go through uh, the plot is a bit darker but not really in a well executed way but you know, it's got like a weird sort of auteuristic beginning. You know. It's like a Kojima kind of thing, like where it's like you're... You know, like with Hideo Kojima of Metal Gear and Solid and whatnot, it's like in Death Stranding more recently. Like you watch the Death Stranding trailer and you're just like, Alright, I guess we're gonna let him do that. This is kind of similar. I'm not gonna say it's like on the level or whatever, but like there's there are weird things going on and You know, I haven't played far enough to really tie in larger plot points to each other All I know is that You know, I was warned That you know, maybe I wouldn't like the intro. I think the intro is fine. It's interesting a little bit It's a bit dark. I know you're not reading it at all, but Basically we've got yeah, I need to go freshen up. I'm like a six-year-old girl, but let me put my makeup on real fast. Oh, what's that? What was that? Okay. See, a window just broke. And at this point, I was filled with... The first time I saw it, I was filled with actual apprehension. I was like, they're not gonna just, like, kill these people, are they? Like, your, your parents are dead in a home invasion? And, uh, no, it's not that simple. <laughs> You kind of wish it was, when you see what's actually going on. Your parents are downstairs. Oh, okay, well, yeah, just, uh, yeah, I'll, well, I'll go down and see them real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, good, yeah, you just stay, you keep standing there, intruding in my house. But, yeah, absolutely the biggest thing that you can tell what this plot is. The music is so good. Oh, that's probably my biggest compliment. It's got some really solid themes, and this builds fantastic tension. And also, what the hell's happening? What? What? What are you doing? Yeah, you feel free to skip to where I'm like, you know, have Pokemon and stuff if you want, but... This is like an aside story, but like we don't play as this chick for a while. Okay, we've transported ourselves. Oh, look, it's the Zorua and the Pangoro from the story. We're part of some like weird cult thing, like castle, you know. It's got that kind of vibe to it. 
I'm not gonna say I understand much of anything. But, you know, that's what four and a half hours gets you. It gets you a very tiny piece of the plot. So I can only speculate, and without actually reading the text, I can really only give you, like, very uninformed cliff notes of what's going on right now. Okay, there's some weird cult going on with Arceus. And somebody just disappeared or, like, broke into pieces, or... She is with the Lord now. This is definitely dead. This is a dead woman. A dead maid. Oh, I guess it's my turn now. Cool. I'll volunteer. You know, you usually hear dubstep in a Pokemon game. But, uh... You know, I usually don't like dubstep at all when it goes over the top, where it's just like, <laughs> like when it's just that. But uh, that theme in particular was pretty good. You know, the type of dubstep you hear in like somebody's Minecraft channel intro, like that can fuck off. But, you know, if there's actually a musicality associated with it, that's pretty good. I played the game on intense mode because, you know, I played Pokemon for like 20 years. W it, there's no such thing as a difficult mode for me, right? Uh, I want to pick a different mode here because I want to note the differences. Because I'm not entirely sure what all stuff is just part of the game and what is based on the difficulty. Right. Hello, my name. Yep, that is a woman. You could have fooled me. But, uh, sure. Yes. This is the moment. Nope, no info needed. I'm playing with a controller, by the way. Uh, you can. As long as you have Steam open, the game will recognize that you have a controller plugged in. Or at least it recognizes mine. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, there's 18 gym leaders. You need to defeat all 18 to compete in the Pokemon League. Pokemon may respond to your calls depending on what level they are and how many badges you have. It will be here forever. Yeah, there's like a weirder thing with wild Pokemon. Where uh, only like the basic ones are available to you. Until you do special stuff for, I don't know. Let's see, I was a uh, pink chick last time. I think I will probably stick with that, actually. This is the only one that is doing anything for me right now. Not sexually, don't go there. I didn't do it. Alright, uh... Using the keyboard, I'm typing it in. This is on PC, naturally. So let's just do that. We'll be the same person we were before. I don't know how, you know, this is just like a thing where... You know, you watch this, you check it out for yourself, you let me know if you want to see more. Because I don't know how far of a playthrough I would do if I would do anything. This introductory video. If anybody wants it to turn into a thing, I can do that. But I wanted to do this as a series of recordings rather than a stream because I know nothing about the game. So obviously I wouldn't be able to do like, oh hey, donate for Pokemon that I don't know if they exist here. Or where they are, specifically. Hello? Why can't I just walk in and battle gym leaders? Uh, because you're an immigrant, that's why. Alright. This game has what I would call fan dialogue. Which is to say that, like, there are times where you're like, yeah, this wasn't written by someone who works in a company. You know, like, the, there are times where you're like, yeah, the dialogue... This is what someone who regularly posts on Reddit would say. Like, this is how they would write this sentence. It's just someone who is just very active in a subreddit of fan Pokemon stuff. But yeah. That basically, that just means, like, the dialogue occasionally betrays what they're trying to go for in terms of a darker, sort of grittier thing. There's just times where it's weirdly out of character. You know. There's this one time where, like, I go into 
They have, okay, so it's like a joke. It's a joke about Pokemon, and they have a bike shop. And so you go in the bike shop, and it's right there, and they're like, hey, could you want to buy a bike for like 9999999 Poke Dollars? Because, you know, that's how much the bikes usually cost unless you get one for free. And you always end up getting one for free. So obviously it's a dig at that, but then you say like, oh yeah, yeah, it could. And then the dude's just like, poor people. He's like, ugh, I hate poor people. Come back when you have money. It's like, I don't, I'm not really feeling that vibe from a game like this, but. You know. Some of the dialogue is immature, that's what I would say. But I don't really want to say more than that. You know, I don't want to, like, pile on. Because I get it. You know, if you're doing a fan-made Pokemon project... I don't know. You know, you want to stay true to your inspiration, but also you want to put your own thing on it. But also, it's just like, you can tell what kind of a person the developer slash z are. Like, their personality comes through in the writing sometimes. And I, that's usually something that turns me off. I don't like, I don't want to know who you are based on playing your game. But, you know, it's a, it's a personal thing. Okay, so we're on a ship. That's what I've gathered so far. And I did not pay attention. You wouldn't want to fall right into the ocean, would you? I guess not. You got me there. Okay, yeah, this is the door. All those doors look the same. There's like a thousand of them. Yeah, sure. I'm ready right now, so there's that. Greetings, everyone. It is my pleasure to host this lovely banquet on this magnificent day. This marks the end of our week-long journey together. I hope that this trip will stay with you and your stuff with the stuff, and I'd like to commence it. Oh, some... Oh, damn, it's Team Rocket, but it's not. It's Team something else. You know when, like, a, uh, a team of uh, people who say they have explosives on their ship comes in, and they're like, hey, if anybody moves, we're gonna blow up the ship. So you know how, like, your instant response to that is, I'm gonna move so much, and I'm gonna make everybody else move? Hey, move right now! You gotta better move right now, please! So then that, you know, causes them to blow up the ship, because that's what happens when they tell you not to move, and you're just like, wow, I don't believe you. Or just, like, just complete utter disregard for their threats. Yo, what's up? My name's Piano Lady. <laughs> and they detonated an explosive on the whole water is gushing at an alarming rate. Then we got some tentacle stuff going on here. They seem harmless, but they're doing something. And of course this would happen before we get running shoes. Perfect day to sing quite a turn, yeah, yeah. Oh, huh? what's that? Your mother? Oh, well, knock me out. Won't be long. Think I'm gonna stay here in my own... Yeah, yeah, stay there in your own misery for a bit. You're the captain of the ship. This is where you belong. Absolutely. I don't buy that situation at all. Do you see that dark figure in the water? Yeah, it does. Ah! Oh! People are dead. Nah, they're probably not dead. But also, it's not like there's ever any resolution that happens. You ever gonna see him again? I doubt it. Um, one of these doors? I'm acting like I've not done this before, and I have. Which is weird that it's so obtuse even the second time around. 
This game does, in my experience, have a habit of planting you in giant areas. And just kind of assuming that you already know the layout, even though, no, you don't. Oh, yeah, I just kidnapped that guy, too. See you later. But, you know, I mean, you know, I want to mix the, uh, my, uh, feelings, like, positively and negatively. I want to pepper it equally in both what I like and dislike about the game, so... Ooh, it's a Sylveon. My mom's got one. I have a Pokemon we can use to serve for sure, but the other people... Oh, we got some Team Skull-esque music going on right now. The game does have, like, remix versions of, uh, actual themes, as well as some, uh, original stuff. Which, obviously, I prefer the original stuff, because that's, I think, where it shines. And then your mom's like, huh, it's going down like this, huh? I'm a cool guy. Liar, I want you to take all of my Pokemon. Even though... Oh, then it means... Oh, that means you didn't actually give me them, I see. And then Piano Lady hella shoved that shit down there. You better appreciate me, Liar. So heroic from an NPC character that has no personality. Or, I mean, like, is of no consequence, is what I meant. They gave her, like, an, like a... an oddman's... dialogue and characteristics. And then just was like, oh, well, yeah, now you're gone. See ya. They didn't even give her a name. Her name's Piano Lady. And they just, like, fully fleshed out her character for all of ten seconds. Then she has the gall to be like, you better appreciate me. Oh, it's... You know what? I don't do what I'm told, so... Everybody here has weird hair. <laughs> I see, so that's what happened, yeah. Team Zen, that's their name. My name is Tesla. I have a Talonflame. It probably uses a Brave Bird with Gale Wings, Swords Dance, things of that nature. Yeah, let's go to Garen Lavatory so we can get my po Lavat <laughs> Garen Laboratory. One of my favorite places to go in Pokemon usually is the uh, lavatory. <laughs> That's where I like to get my Pokemon. Just reaching in a toilet. Look, my mom was in the ship trying to give me her Pokemon. She should have tossed me a pair of running shoes. Or sh she could have, like, flung a bike over her shoulder real quick. Garen City is this way. Hello. Nope. I have not. Oh, that's great. Yeah, tropical Pokemon, sure. This game has a lowland Pokemon also. In fact, I think they're all a lowland, all the ones that can be. You know, I've only ever seen a lowland Rattata and Grimer. I haven't seen regular ones. Also, the game. Oh yeah, I said the game auto saves. I guess that's what that symbol is. I just noticed it. That's the first time I've seen that. Which is pretty cool, because my PC freezes all the damn time. So I'm glad that, uh... That's the case. You know? That's great. So do I go out here? That doesn't even look like... Look at this. This doesn't look like an entryway. That looks like a wall that wasn't drawn. What kind of... Am I walking into a bath towel? Look at... 
I'm not trying to roast the game, but like sometimes that instinct does kick in. This is maybe my favorite theme so far. Like, can we just sit back and listen to this for a second? Hello. What's a pretty face like you doing in a pretty place like this? Hey, what's the big deal? You don't have a Pokemon? Don't waste my time. Yeah, this game has, like, rapists. <laughs> Theme changes when we're in here. I do happen to be liar. What's up, Amanda? Oh, you were the assumedly chick from the beginning who was like, hey, you know, there's 18 gym leaders, and I was like, oh yeah. You don't, uh, this guy doesn't seem to be going anywhere. You having trouble, uh, moving? Yeah, no thanks. Okay, this is, yeah. So, one of the things I wanted to ascertain with the difficulty is that when you're playing on intense mode, you get, like, no money from trainer battles at all. So you can't just hoard potions. And that's a really big problem for me. So, we'll see. Amanda. Uh-oh. Exposition that is irrelevant. Yes. Oh, but that's another thing. This game throws a swear at you for n no actual reason. And, like, that was the biggest instance for me. Of, like, why have you done this? Yeah. Like, you're fighting one of the oddmans of Team Zex, and he's just like, he says shit. And you're like, where did that come from? I don't know. Even if I was gonna make a darker Pokemon, which is something that I am into conceptually, I wouldn't have him swear, probably. I mean, I know I'm swearing, but I'm not in the Pokemon universe, you know what I mean? You imagine, you imagine being next to like a Pikachu and just saying, hey Pikachu, the fuck is up? And then Pikachu just melts and explodes because you just broke its whole childhood. You win a, a battle against Joey and his Rattata. You're just like, like Pikachu, use Thundershot. And then it hits Rattata and you're like, yeah, fuck you Rattata. And then Rattata's like, what? Why are you doing that? Why are you saying this? Alright. This is Professor Jennerson, aka Professor Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner, this is Liar, their new trainer, you know the one I told you about? Oh yeah, hello, I'm Professor Jenner. Formerly known as Professor Jenner, but after the transition, now they call me Professor Jenner. Now, this is probably one of the good things to say about fan-made games like this, is that they are always they do always get some things right. You know, there are lots of fan opinions that shouldn't be listened to. We're like, oh, it would be great if this happened, and then you're like, mm, no, it would not. It would suck majorly, so don't ever make that actually part of the game. But this is not one of those things, you know. People are like, oh, there should be a game where like you can pick from any starter Pokemon. And everyone's like, well, yeah, you can't really argue with that. And so here we are. Every starter Pokemon Gen 1 through 7 is here. It seems like they try and push Oshawott on you. Because if you come over here, he's the only one that follows you. And he follows you like everywhere. You know, I mean, it makes sense with, from the anime point of view. You've seen Oshawa in black and white. That's how he is. He's a character. 
yeah, they're all just hanging out over there. I picked uh, Fennekin, if you saw, I think you saw at the beginning. I turned it into a Brixen by the time we were at the place where I was before. I, here's the thing. All the Pokemon have their hidden abilities. These are all hidden, you know, Fennekin's got Magician, which means Torchic has Speed Boost, which you can kind of see from that. It's pretty neat. I don't know what Lin's hidden ability is. I never figured that out. But yeah, but that sort of brings more of a strategy focus into play, because it's like, oh, well, they're hidden abilities. I mean, we gotta think about this, you know? Like, what are the top three starter hidden abilities? Well, one is probably Torchic Speed Boost. Uh, two, another one, it would be probably Snivy's Contrary, I would say is a great one. And then, uh, you know, I'm not familiar with all of them. But I think the most useful one would probably be Froakie's Protein. And that's why I gotta pick Froakie. You know, I know we're in the middle of an X and Y stream, so it's kind of redundant, especially since I picked Froakie during that, even though, you know, nobody owns him, so he's not being used, but... Still. Nice. But regardless, we have Froakie, so hey, what's going on? I did choose. Alright, you don't mind if I just, like, ignore you completely, do you? Oh, the elevator's not responding? I... I think I actually screwed myself here. Because the last time I did this, I bought potions before, because there is access to a mark. So, yeah. Pretty sure you're supposed to lose this battle, but I item spammed. Oh, you pick Litten no matter what? I thought it was dependent on my choice. Well, in that case, this was gonna be easy. Ah, alright. Let's do this. Oh, you like that. I just think protein is really good because it's so versatile. And it's cool because uh, this Froakie doesn't seem to have protein. So I'm confused now because my Fennekin had Magician. So is it random then? Because I hugely regret my decision if it is. Like how could you do this to me actually? What's up, friend? You wanna battle me? Yo, yeah. Battle me, bro. Come on. Yeah, you had a Froakie last time. Now I have one, too. How about that? So... I don't... I'm not switching. Yeah, he's got Torrent! Why are you at Torrent? Nobody wants you to have Torrent when you could have Protein? What kind of bullshit is that? You tricked me when you gave me Magician for Fennekin. You gave me a false positive. I was like, oh, they all have their hidden abilities. That's cool. If you ask me, they all should have their hidden abilities. I just got chipped majorly. About to write an angry letter right now. I mean, my Froakie's still better than your Froakie. That's. It's besides the issue. Hell yeah, we got a non stab quick attack because we don't have protein. <sighs> well, that sucks. Can I. Can I, like, quit and come back out? It auto saved. You know, can we, uh, can we go back to one of the auto saves? I'd sure enjoy that. No, probably just like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna give it a shot. Is there even a quick game? Yeah, auto save is on. 
fire achievements. Yeah, there's achievements. I don't really understand that fully, but that's a thing that happens. I would like to leave and die. It's the Oshawa. Do you want to come here instead? I bet you have a good ability. I don't even know what it is. What its hidden ability is, but yeah. Can I pick Rowlet instead? Man, why do you have to screw me over like that? I'm feeling very betrayed. I actually remember our agreement in the slightest, so... Don't tell me not to forget something that's already out of my head. Damn it. Oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy lamenting the status of my brokey? <sighs> okay, we're well, gonna show me these cool things. PC Star. These machines act as a remote PC storage system. Yeah, pretty simple. Exhibit B. This one's really important. It's Jim Guy panel. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Yeah, great. You give me some advice, short. Sure. Now, I have tried one of those, because I did get to the first gym, but I haven't beaten it. And it did give me some neat advice. It's a poison-type gym. Here's the thing about the gyms. They're basically Elite Four, but with lower Pokemon, lower level Pokemon, and they have like competitive move sets. I, the chick sent out a Surviper that was using Bulldoze, and it's like, excuse me. So, also it used a Z move. I didn't even bury the lead there. Surviper used Acidic Downpour and one shot my breaks him. It was complete garbage. This is Z moves. Yeah, why well, you get to do shit? Oh, there's shadow Pokemon in this game too, by the way. Oh, but you can't use them in gym battles. I when I tried, I had two of them at my party, and she was like, "Um, you know, it's not fair that you." Oh, but it's fair that you can use acidic downpour, but I can't use a shadow Pokemon that's level 11. Okay. Jeez. I wasn't paying attention to how much money I was getting from those trainers. It seems to have been a fair amount, though, if I can afford these potions. Anyway, let's keep going a little bit more. Ah, uh, the music is back. Oh, and yeah, it's raining here usually. Sometimes it's not. The weather seems to be more dynamic, but also it seems to rain here all the time. And when you pick Fennekin and you are battling pretty much exclusively in the rain, it's uh, not a great time. But it'll be good for Froki. Would have been better for Froki if he had protein, but you know what I mean. All right, Tally, about to turn this optimist into a pessimist. Yep, that is a lonely meow. Oh yeah, I have one shot you. I'm feeling the power. Why is my dog barking? I don't hear anybody. Ella! Why are you gonna ruin everything I've ever done in my life? You gave me 16 money, is that what I just saw? So it's not based on difficulty then. Trainers are just dirt poor. Okay then. Yeah, give me... A... Th one thirty tooth? The fraction? One thirty second? Of how much it costs to buy one potion? Yeah. Yeah, I can get that. Just, I'll battle that chick 32 more times and I can afford a potion. That sounds good. Okay. One thing that's good to know now, rather than figuring it out too late, is that you really should fill your party up early. And the game seems to really want you to have, like, 20 Pokemon that you just switch out at any time. And, uh... Yeah, because the gym leader's got six Pokemon, I think, and by that time I had two. And they were both level capped, because level caps are a thing based on the area you're in, I guess. Or how many badges you have, maybe. 
So I'm gonna catch Young Goose, even though I never use Young Goose. Because using Young Goose would help. Oh, we did get running shoes. Nice. But yeah, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna do. I do know that I'll probably just do it until I don't want to anymore. So, you know, don't expect the series to be finished. But I, I, th I got at least one more in me for sure, I think. I'm gonna go tend to my dog. That's gonna do it for this episode slash only video, depending on what's happening. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, like, share, and subscribe, and whatnot. And yeah, you, you can check out Pokemon Rejuvenation again is what it's called. You can check it out if, if by Googling it, I assume. And then it's on PC. There's also a Mac version if you have Wine. Which Wine is the program that lets you play Windows games on Mac. I have that. I've used, I used that for Pokemon Uranium. But Pokemon Uranium was famously built for, like, fucking Windows 98, so it didn't really work that well, but it does work. Um, I'd be playing Pokemon Uranium right now if it would work on a modern computer. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah. And I'll, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.